Hi, I'm Glenn, and this is my experimental tracking synchro to digital converter. Let's do a quick overview of the test setup, and then we'll get into a demonstration. Uh, for the test setup, I have my reference voltage generator here, which is this purple board. It's connected via these yellow, black, and red wires to my bench power supply, which is set for plus or minus 12 volts. It outputs a 400 hertz sine wave at about plus or minus uh, 9 and plus or minus 9.5 volts, 19 volts peak to peak. Um, that reference voltage is connected to channel 1 of this data acquisition device. Then that reference voltage is also fed around through this internal connector to this differential resolver. I'm running this differential resolver backwards, so normally this would be an output, but instead I'm feeding my differential voltage into that output as an input. Then I'm taking what would normally be the input of this, which is a synchro format voltages, and I'm using that as an output. So I'm taking that output, which is the synchro format voltages, uh, running it to the rear connector here, and then it's on this blue, yellow, and black wire onto channels 2, 3, and 4 of the data acquisition hardware. The data acquisition hardware is connected via USB to this little fanless Intel Celeron uh, PC. That PC is running the Python script that does the tracking synchro to digital conversion. The output of that script is fed over uh, USB CDC on the second USB cable to a little ESP32 board over here. Um, which receives the, uh, the, the computed angle and displays it on this OLED display. And so the goal of this project is to be able to use the altitude alerters uh, knob here on the front to set the angle of the shaft on this differential resolver, which is wired as a synchro transmitter, feed that to the tracking synchro to digital converter Python script over there, and then display the angle on this OLED. So let's do a quick demonstration. Okay, I've gone ahead and zoomed in on the front panel of the altitude alerter and the OLED display that displays the computed output angle. The fine synchro in the altitude alerter turns from 0 degrees to 360 degrees every 5,000 feet. And I'm running the version of the synchro to digital Python script that um, has 0 feet at 0 degrees and with the angle increasing. So at zero feet, and we should expect to see an output of zero degrees, and we're seeing that. At 1,000 feet, it should go by 360 divided by uh, five, which is 72 degrees, and it does. Go up to 2,000 feet, another 72 degrees. 3,000 feet, another 72 degrees. 4,000 feet, and we're up to 288, which is the next multiple of 72 degrees. And then at 5,000 feet, it loops back around to zero. And from then on, it'll repeat um, just like that. So if we go up to 10,000 feet, it will go back to zero degrees. And likewise, when we go backwards, if we go backwards, 1,000 feet, it's back to 288, go all the way back to uh, 5,000 feet, and it'll be back to zero degrees. Uh, 3,000 again, 216, 2,144, 1,072, and zero degrees, we're back at uh, zero feet. Zero feet, and we're back at zero degrees. Um, you know, the, the interesting thing about this is that I'm really not really, I'm not really trying too hard, and yet I'm getting a tenth of a degree accuracy, and it's pretty steady. You know, so it's able to detect just the slack in the in the in the gearing here. So anyway, that's my demonstration of my tracking synchro to digital converter. For more information, check out the links below uh, to my blog post that has all the details on how this was built, the modeling, the math, the circuitry, uh, the Python script, the code, the reference voltage. Everything's in the blog post. Thanks for watching. Bye.